Yo, what is going on, fellas? And hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. So yesterday with the objectives that came out, we were able to unlock the fourth set token needed to get the free 99 overall. I have all those players here. Obviously, I'm not there yet, but I do have a video. So we will go over all the players, ranking them 1 through 10. So without further ado, let's slide over to number 10, where this guy, don't pick him up. So the worst pick you can probably make is this 99 overall weekly wild card Darren Waller. When this card dropped, nobody was impressed. 97 speed is cool on a tight end, but that's about where it ends. Nothing crazy ability-wise. And fellas, when you guys open this pack, there are going to be some straight bangers in there. Darren Waller is not worth your grind whatsoever. Honestly, it's not worth even being like on your team. Card is not that good. You guys can catch my trend here. The other player that I'm going to say, stay away from, have him a little bit higher than Waller, is the other weekly wild card LTD in this pack, Stefan Diggs. Same exact argument for Waller. This card came out and nobody was really that impressed. 98 speed is chill, 99 short, 97 medium, 97 deep, all great stats, but again, just nothing really eye-popping on the ability side, and again, fellas, Madden is an all-ability-based game, you've heard me say that all year, we can go check out the discounted abilities, but like, 1 AP evasive, so many receivers get this ability for free, yes, it is the best of receiver ability, but again, so many get them for free, and honestly, you get only get to pick one, so... Do not waste it on Stefan Diggs. So after Diggs, I have the Ultimate Legend Tiki Barber. He is the only running back available in the pack, I believe. Yeah, only running back available in the pack. So if you need a running back, okay, like, yeah, it's cool, but like, not necessarily worth it because, fellas, Bo Jackson is like under 100k, and I think Bo Jackson is better than Tiki Barber. We can check out the stats really quick, though. 98 speed, 85 truck, 93 break tackle. It's a really cool card, again. Nothing crazy on abilities. Bo Jackson is just better, and he's also 100,000 coins versus one of 10, 99 overalls that they're, like, I think the top three in this pack are, they're electric. So after Tiki Barber, I have the other ultimate legend in this pack, Demarcus Ware. You're going to use this card to edge rush for you. It doesn't get any real, like, usering abilities, so you wouldn't use them whatsoever. 94 speed, 97 block shed, 99 power move, 97 finesse, 6 foot 4, 258 pounds. This card is really good. The only reason why you're not picking this card is you're going to get him to edge rush, and there is a better edge rusher in this pack available. If you're on a Broncos theme team, I think he gets Cowboys Chem too. Yeah, you'll pick up Demarcus Ware, but honestly, besides that, you're not picking up and he, like, you're not getting to Marcus Ware because the other edge rusher is just significantly better. So after the Ultimate Legends, I have Sugar Rush Brian Branch. There are actually two defensive backs in this pack for you guys to pick from. One, Brian Branch being more of a slot option, and the other guy I have being more of your like outside zone, like zoned up, manned up guy. Brian Branch, though, is a great slot option. If you guys need a slot DB, go Brian Branch. Really good stats all across the board. 77 press is... Eh, it's not terrible, but you're not really going to line up Brian Branch to go press against Harold Carmichael or your Randy Mosses or your Megatron. He's playing your slot for you. Great option. I do think there are better slot corners in the game, but for a free 99 overall, hey, Brian Branch is a great option. I will say, as I'm making this video, if you guys run a theme team, pick the card that fits your theme team. More importantly than what I'm telling you guys is like the best 1 through 10. Obviously, getting a free 99 overall that fits your theme team overrides anything I'm telling you. All right. On to Jalen Johnson, though. He's the next guy. I have view him a little bit more importantly than Brian Branch in the slot. Jalen Johnson is a more outside, you know, man up, lock down your guy. 98 speed, 97 man, 98 zone, 97 press. That's really the only reason why he's above Brian Branch. can play the outside with that 97 press. Brian Branch cannot. Jalen Johnson can. Six foot, 193 pounds, a little bit small again. That's why I don't have him like as a top tier on this list. I think he's more, you know, your middle of the pack. If you need a defensive back, I prefer Jalen Johnson over Brian Branch. But hey, you know, whatever. I don't really love any of the weekly wildcard LTDs, but that's a conversation for another day. So one thing I've been pressing for you guys to do all year, BND offense alignment, Tony Baselli is just that. I have him as the third best option you can pick. You need a left tackle. You need a right tackle. Go buy, to go, don't go buy. Go pick Tony for free. Really great option. Stats wise, I mean, it looks like a 99 overall, six foot seven, 322 pounds. I do not believe he gets free secure protector, which is kind of shit. He gets it for one, though, so honestly, it's not the end of the world. Tony Baselli, third best option for sure in this pack. At number two, though, I have the career tribute Aaron Donald. 
This is why I told you guys, if you're going to pick DeMarcus Ware, why? We have a better edge rusher. Yeah, Aaron Donald is that better. Edge rusher, 96 speed, 99 block shed. Not, not, he's got 99s all over the board. I love when I do that and I go, oh, wait, this card is just so gross. 99s everywhere. You don't have to read them for you, fellas. 6'1", 280, though, really good size. Aaron Donald is just one of those players in Madden that just always plays good. And, fellas, this might be my pick, but I am leaning more towards picking number one. We'll go over that, though, after Secure Tackler for zero, Enforcer Supreme for one, Double or Nothing for one, Relentless Tribute for zero, and then Edge Threat Elite for one. I mean, guys, he is just so good. Unstoppable Force, a.k.a. Cruz, Unstoppable Force, NFL Combine, like... You need an edge rusher. You need just a difference maker on defense. Aaron Donald for free. Like, this is a top tier card. And you guys can get him for absolutely zero coins. Just hit level 34 in the field pass. And with Donald at number two, I have Jason Kelsey at one. He is the best center in the game. He is an end game card. I made a video two days ago going over the best end game cards you can buy right now. Kelsey was my number one player on that list. And when I saw you get him for free, I was like, Let's go. Saving myself 2 million coins because I am by picking Jason Kelsey. Amazing stats, abilities, galore, anything and everything you could physically want in a card. Jason Kelsey gets it. Vanguard NFL tribute. Don't need to run it, but it's just like, it's a geek. If you have three AP to use, like, all right, but come on. Most of us aren't going to use that. Secure Pro for zero, identifier for zero. But he's got everything you could want. And this is why I think Jason Kelsey is the best free 99 overall to pick from your season six set pack. And fellas, that is everything I got for you guys today. Let me know who you picked down below. Did you guys hit level 34 to get your free player yet? And I will catch you boys later. Peace.